Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids, and today we're gonna to talk to you about 20 different keychain lights. Now, I've used all these lights over the years. Some of them I like, some of them I don't like as much. Uh, some of them definitely qualify for me as a keychain light. Some of them I see people talking about as a keychain light, but they're too big for me or they don't have the functionality that I would want for a keychain flashlight. So we're gonna work through all the different lights and tell you some of the pluses and the minuses of each one of them. But again, I've used all of these, so I feel like I can give you some sense of what I think of each one. All right, so we'll start down here on the end. This is the i3e EOS from Olight. Runs off one AAA battery. You can see you got the plus sign there and the minus sign here. So you're gonna have the plus end facing this way when you put it in. Basically turn it and the light comes on, loosen it and the light goes off. So you basically wanna keep this just a little bit loose and maybe a quarter turn, a half turn. And then when you wanna engage it, just crank it down like so. Um, you can see I put a little uh, lanyard on here. This is great for a keychain, I think. So 0.68 ounces, so super lightweight. And 2.38 inches, I think, is the end-to-end -end length. So for me, when I think about a keychain light, I'm looking for something that, you know, if I drop my uh, drop something outside my car at night when I get out of the car, when I'm walking up the driveway at night or walking into my house at night, I want some light to be able to see kind of what's around, also to shine it on the lock on the door so I can unlock it if it's late at night. Or maybe if I drop something behind my desk at work, I can use this type of light to, uh, you know, to find that item. So really inexpensive, about 10 bucks for these lights. A great simple light from Olight, the i3e EOS. All right, let's move on to the next one. This is the Surefire Titan. Now, this is one of the originals to come out, and the current cost for this one, I can't find the original online. You can probably, you know, dig around and locate it, but the current one is gonna run you about 115 bucks. So it is a huge price. To be honest with you, I would just not pay that much. Surefire makes a really solid flashlight, but if you're gonna spend that much money, get a full-size Surefire. But if you do have one of these, or you can find one of the earlier ones, again, runs off a AAA battery. You're gonna crank down the light, You've got one output, two outputs. I think it's just two. So you got the low setting and then the higher setting. Low and then high. So um, it is rugged. It's durable. I actually have this in a Kydex setup for um, like a, you know, kind of a knife system made by Black Bear Custom Kydex. So solid light. If you can get the original, it was way less. It was probably like 35, maybe 50 bucks. Still a lot of money for, um, for this light. So I do like Surefire, but if you're gonna spend that much money, I would say get a full-size Surefire. You don't need to spend over a hundred bucks for a keychain light. All right, next up here, we have the Ultratac K18. It does come in a variety of different colors. This is a great little light for EDC or for keychains. So obviously you got that loop there, you can run a, a, a key ring through there or a lanyard and then attach it to a key ring. And you do have that clip. It does have three different outputs. This runs off one AAA, or you can also get like a 10440 uh, rechargeable battery. Um, the newer versions of this actually have a USB recharging option. So I'm gonna hold this down. It's gonna come on at the, the really low Firefly setting. Click it to your medium, click it to your high. I think your high is like almost 400 lumens. So a solid little light, again, for a keychain or just general EDC. And again, the new one's gonna be, give you up to 370 lumens output and it um, comes with the basically a micro USB cable so you can charge it uh, without having to just replace the battery once you have a, a, a rechargeable um, battery in there. The new one's gonna run you about 28 bucks and then the originals you can pick up for less. Next up here we have the EGTAC Teeny DX3E. So it's this tiny little light. Uh, EGTAC has made a bunch of different lights kind of around this same size. Gonna give you up to a thousand lumens of output. You can see right here, we do have the rechargeable USB-C. I will let you know that this little kind of um, rubber stopper, it does fall off. So just be careful when you put that in, make sure it's, turn the light on there, my bad, firmly locked in so that it doesn't, you know, doesn't fall off there. You can see Teeny DX3E. Um, cool little light. It's going to run you about 30 bucks and give you up to a thousand lumens of output, which is great for a tiny little light like this. Um, going years where I got this from one of the monthly EDC boxes and you can pick up other EGTAC likes, lights from those guys over there. So as far as cycling through, you're going to hold down here. It's going to turn on, press, it'll go off, press, it'll go on. And then on cycle low, medium, high, low, medium, high, double click to the turbo and then back to off. So this is a great little light. Um, I haven't used this one as much. You can see it's not super beat up, whereas like this uh, night core you see is definitely scratched up because that's been on my keychain for a long time. A uh, thousand lumens of output. It does have a built-in battery to let you know about that. And again, running about 30 bucks, give or take. You can pick up EGTAC lights around different places. 
Next up here, we have this from Olight. This is the i1R2 EOS. Uh, about 18 bucks from Olight. When you open this up completely, you have access to your micro USB to charge it. It's kind of spring loaded here. And then your two outputs are going to be five lumens and 150. So turn it until you get your first one, which is five. Keep turning and then 150, five, 150, and then crank it all the way back and it goes off. I have one of these originally in the, um, in like black. This is kind of a flat, dark earth and uh, great light, super compact, super lightweight, um, 0.46 ounces. The battery's built in, not super expensive, great little light. I really like, I really like this for a keychain light. Next up here, we have the Thrunite TI High. Now, this one has been replaced more recently by the TI3 from Thrunite. That's gonna run you from about seven bucks up to about 16 bucks. It has a couple different outputs. You have a, a extremely low Firefly, which is 0 0.04, a medium at, or a low at 12, and then the uh, high is 120 lumens, and then also a strobe at 120 lumens. So basically, you've got the, the uh, battery in there. You're gonna crank it, there's your low, there's your medium, there's your high, go through again, low, medium, high, and then here's strobe, so strobe warning. Oh, sorry, you gotta go faster. But when you go through the second time, it'll go up to strobe, and here's strobe, there it is. So, cool to have strobe on a tiny little light. Um, again, between seven bucks up to uh, 16 bucks, you do have the option to run this as a keychain. Obviously, you can run a lanyard through the little hole there, um, and then also an EDC light. So the TI High is harder to find now, but it was a great light. And the new TI3 is the uh, kind of the replacement to it. Let me step out of order here real quick and just show you this. This is an actual key that you can get cut for like, you know, a key to your house. And then it's got this little light here. When you squeeze it, a tiny little blue light comes on. So not a ton of output, but you know, if you want to like be able to see the lock when you're opening up your, um, opening up your door at night, that is a great light to use uh, for that purpose. So super low cost, I think it was like six or seven bucks and then you get the key cut and uh, yeah, just a simple little thing. So definitely not something you're going to walk around at night with, but if you need a little bit of light to see your lock for your door, this could be one you pick up, pick up. I got this one at Walmart. Next up here, you can see one that I've used quite a bit. This is the Nightcore Tip. There's like the tip, the top, the tiny. I mean, there's lots of different versions of this type of thing from uh, from from Nightcore. Um, you got a power button here, and then you got a selector button here. And so you're gonna go through the different outputs. This one, let me turn this off real quick. Uh, this one, you can see I've carried a lot. I do like that it's relatively slim, and that you can, where it is, where is it? There it is. Um, recharge it with a micro USB. I wish they had a uh, basically a rubber plug for that or a rubber, rubber stopper for that. But nonetheless, great little light. Four different outputs. You got a low at one lumen, a medium at 30 lumens, a high at 180, and the turbo at 700. Um, your weight is 0.92 ounces. So just super compact and lightweight. Uh, cost for this is right around 30 bucks. All right, next up here, we have the i3e EOS. As you can see, this is a very unique color. This is one that they put together for breast cancer awareness. Um, two outputs for this. So 180 lumens at your highest output. Basically, you have a low and then your high. Um, this again for me is too big for an EDC, or sorry, for a keychain light. It's a great little EDC light, but some people, you know, throw, throw a, um, throw like some sort of lanyard around there and they carry it on their, um, on their keychain. You can find a way to put up something that kind of loop, loop around the base here and then carry it. Compact, lightweight, runs off one, uh, I think this is a, I can't remember if this is a double A AA or triple A. So let's check it out right here on camera. Yeah. So one triple A battery. But compact light, 180 lumens of some, out of something this small is nice, low, and the high. And obviously you can click it in. I'm just not locking it in. But i3T EOS, 180 lumen is the, high, the highest output for this guy. Down here on the end, we have one from Lumentop. This is a Lumentop EDC01. Going to run you about 10 bucks. It does come with this little um, kind of, it, it dissipates the light. It also glows in the dark. So I'm going to take this guy off for a second and just show you, crank it down comes on 2.36 inches from end to end it's 0.42 ounces your high output is 120 lumens and let me just show you here real quick so when you put this thing on and then you actually turn the light on so you can see it kind of dissipates the light a little bit and now you can see it's glowing kind of glows in the dark so an additional little feature that you can throw on there for me a keychain light is generally not one i'm like i have to have quick you know access to it to turn it on really quick because of some sort of tactical situation so you could walk around with it having this thing on and then if you really needed it take it off turn the light on and then if you when you were done with it you could put this back on for more of kind of a 
gives you more kind of like a candlelight experience as opposed to, you know, a uh, a um, flashlight that's throwing light out into the night. So EDC01, 10 bucks from Lumentop. Down here on this end, we have the Thrunite T1. This for me, um, too big for, for a keychain light, but great for EDC. 1500 lumens of output. So hold this down. It's going to come on at your Firefly. And then you're going to cycle up. Let's see if I can get this to work here. So there we go. And it's the infinity loop. So up, it's going to flash all the way down to the bottom. It'll flash again. And then if you double click turbo, and you can see that drop down because it's not fully charged. Triple click, it'll go to strobe. So strobe warning. So again, too big for me for an EDC light or for, a, sorry, for a keychain light. But for some people, they don't mind something this big and heavy. This runs off kind of a unique battery. You know, this size, a lot of people think of a CR123. This is an 18350, 1100 milliamp battery. Um, cool, cool light for everyday carry, definitely. This guy is through night's competition for the Olight Baton series. You can see that it is uh, rechargeable with a micro USB there. All right, this next guy here I picked up at Lowe's. This is from Lux Pro. It does have like a zoom feature, so you can pull it out or pull that in to make it a tighter or a wider beam. Um, you can see right now it's dead and I haven't really used this thing a lot. Let me show you the bummer of this and why I don't recommend it because it runs off four of these little kind of like watch size batteries. I just, I don't, why would you do that? Just put a AAA in there. So yeah, you can get four of these, but I mean, there's just a pain. They're not super cheap. They're hard to find. So I think the, the light actually has some potential because it's keychain size. It's got a, they've got a bunch of different colors. You have that zoom out and zoom in feature as far as making a wider or a tighter beam, but these are just a bummer. I would never, never just buy a flashlight that, that needed these kind of batteries to replace it. So don't recommend that, unfortunately, but those are ones that you can find out there. All right, next up we have my personal favorite of all these lights. This is the Nightcore Tiny 2. You can see on the back, it's got the name there. You can see it's definitely beat up because I've been carrying this around for a long time. Um, it's gonna run you about 40 bucks. The thing I love about this light, you click it on, and you can see on the screen what your output is and how much time you have left, right? So let me scroll through the different outputs. So one lumen, and you can see 16 hours, 10 minutes. 15, two hours, 13 minutes. 65, 34 minutes. 200, 11 minutes. And then if you hold it down, it's gonna go to turbo. 500 for four minutes. So it's flashing weird on the screen just because of the uh, camera. But I think that is an awesome feature because you can see how much power you have left or burn time you have left. Also, when you click this, you can see I have 3.59 volts left. The battery is mostly drained, so I should charge this guy up, which you can do here with the, see if I can do this with one hand. Nope, but you got a, uh, you have a port here, which is very snug. So there's your port for your USB-C. So I love this light. I Like I said, I like it because of, the ability to read how much power I have left, but also it, it gives a nice amount of light, you know, 500 lumens for something this small. And you're looking at 40 bucks, so it's definitely an investment, but a solid light. This thing has worked really well for me. They have it in black. You can also get it in silver. Um, great light, the Tiny 2 from Nightcore. Next up, we got this one from Next Torch. This is the K11. It's gonna run you about 16 bucks. 2.58 inches from end to end, runs off one AAA, gives you up to 100 lumens of output. So basically, again, just crank this down and it's going to turn on, crank it down, it's going to go off, on, off. Simple light, 16 bucks. Next torches, I feel like they're not as well known as a lot of other companies out there, but so far they've made some good products that I've tested out. So I just want to let you know about that one. This one I'm going to show you is a little bit weird. This is the Open 2, and this is basically the light portion. You can see your USB-C to charge it there. You could throw some sort of you know lanyard around here to carry it. This is locked out right now, so you see the red light when I bump it. When I hold it down, it's gonna unlock, and then it's gonna give me these different outputs. So it's got four from the lowest up to the highest. Hold it down, it's gonna lock out, actually hold it down when it's off, and it'll lock out. And then obviously it connects to the rest of the, the open. But you know, people are looking for different ways to carry keychain lights. I wouldn't carry the whole pen, but I would carry this as a um, as a keychain light. And some some pretty significant output for such a compact little light. So there's an idea outside the box for you. All right, next up here, we have the Nightcore Tiki LE. It's gonna give you up to 300 lumens. If you hold it down, it'll give you your turbo or your highest output at 300, let it go, goes off. Double click, comes on, and then you can cycle through the different outputs. 
Now the other thing here is, let me turn this off. Let me show you the triple click. And now you're gonna get the red, click again, the blue, click again, flashing between those two, click again, back to the red, hold it down, off. So simple little light, 20 bucks, uh, up, up to 300 lumens of output, comes with a clip here for your keychain, lightweight, and you get that flashing feature if you need to get somebody's attention. So Nightcore Tiki LE. This one is considered a keychain light from Nightcore, but it's just way too big for me. This is the TK or T4K. It does have a clip, which is great. It's built in. You can see it does have this clip for making it a pocket light or a keychain light, but not sure. It's just too big. It's just too big for that. But power and your selector switch, similar to this guy here when you turn it on. 200 lumens, and then you're gonna see you have two hours and 14 minutes left. Cycle up, you got one lumen for 49 hours and 49 minutes, 15 lumens, 16 hours, 19 minutes, 65 lumens, five hours, 42 minutes, 200 lumens, two hours, 13 minutes, and then it's gonna go back down. I think if you hold this, it's gonna give you your turbo. So turbo's coming here. Yep, and let's see what that is. That is 4,000, and it's gonna drop down. You can see going down, going down, going down, then eventually it's gonna drop down. Maybe it even just go off. Yeah, it drops down. So that's uh, that's a lot of output. Um, you're not gonna have 4,000 lumens for 10 hours, but you can see that just dropped all the way down, and now when I hold it down, it'll go back to the 4,000. So you basically gotta let it cool down for a minute, and then you can go back to it. 4,000, let go. So uh, this is, again, just too big for a keychain light, but I love the idea of the readout there. I think that's a major win. Now this guy's not cheap. It's gonna run you about 90 bucks. It's definitely a lifelong investment for an EDC light. I think that's kind of slick to have, you know, the uh, the readout there. If you need the 4,000 lumens for a long time, get a bigger light, but I do think that's cool. And then again, there's a, I find the re recharging option. Down here on the end, you can see the USB-C to recharge it there. So T4K from Nightcore. All right, these last three are from Robivon, and these are three of the Auroras. So we have the A1, the A3, and I think this is the A5 here. So um, they are. there's a wide array of Auroras from Robivon that's going to run 450 up to 1,000 lumens, going to run you from 30 bucks up to 80 bucks. So here's a look at the A1. If you hold it down, it's going to come on at your highest output. Double click, it's going to come on, and then you can cycle through the different outputs. Triple click to strobe, so strobe warning. So there's that. And uh, the, just like a lot of different features and functionality to the Aurora series. This one's cool because the, the light comes on and then it, this actually glows in the dark. You can see it's kind of translucent. Um, this guy's cool because it comes with a clip so you can EDC it and you can also run it as a keychain light. So lots of different options from the Aurora line uh, made by Robivon, which I've liked these lights as well. Um, like I said, of all these, my favorite one is this guy right here from Nightcore, the Tiny 2 because of its size and also that it tells you what the output. With that said, let's hear your thoughts and feedback. What do you like from these lights? Are there other keychain lights that you really like? I know Streamlight makes a couple that people are fans of, but let's hear your thoughts and your feedback on these lights. Links below if you're interested in picking any of these up or learning more about them. So let's hear your thoughts and your feedback in the comments section now. Thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.